I have looked at uh, YouTube and uh, found out that there are many good tutorials on the topic of uh, uh, copy and paste and copy and paste special for Katia. However, some of them do not have sound and it's difficult to uh, uh, have a good idea of what's going on. And the other ones can be very complicated and uh, gets convoluted with other aspects. So what I've decided to do is to prepare several segments uh, dealing with copy and copy paste uh, and copy paste special. Now, however, it's broken down into uh, smaller units. For example, the one that I'm preparing right now is the the, the simplest situation where you have a, a a copy a feature within the part within the, the part body, okay, and then paste it there, okay. So we have a single part body and a single part, and we do a copy and then copy paste and copy paste special to see the differences. All right, let's make some uh, something very simple. For example, on that plane, I will sketch. Uh, let's say uh, uh, a rectangle. Okay, and in it, I will draw another rectangle, like so. Okay, exit and path. All right, very simple. So notice that here we have a pad which is based on that sketch. So let us go ahead and copy this pad, copy, and then in the part body, while we're in the part body, we say paste. Okay. So notice that the path has been created, path two, sketch two. Okay. Now first of all. Uh, these two, the two, the two paths, which can be separated from each other. For example, I use the compass, put it there, and I select path two, and I move it up, and you can see that these are two features that we were able to separate. Now, if you go to the original path, which was here, original sketch, and I change this thing, the size of this. This one changes, the other one does not, because these are not, you know, related to each other, except for the fact that it was copied and pasted, okay? Or if you can go to this one, you can change the size of that rectangle, and nothing happens. The other thing to keep in mind is that, let's do this one more time, copy, and instead of doing it in the part body, let me add it to top level, which is part, paste. Huh. There's no difference because it ends up in the part body. And once again, these are uh, these are uh, uh, these are sitting on top of each other. So I can take this thing, path three, and I move it, and there we are. And once again, I can go to path three and change, for example, the size of this. Exit, and these are basically independent of each other. One last thing, let's do this one more time, copy. And this time, either, or it really doesn't matter whether you do it in part, part, part up here or part body, and do a paste special. Notice that there's only a single option, paste, let me say okay. And once again, these are sitting on top of each other. So if I uh, select this and move it down, this is this is pad four, which was based on copy paste special. Double click on it, and you can, for example, resize this independent of the original part, which was. Uh, which was right here, okay? So, uh, this was uh, the basic idea behind uh, copying a feature and either pasting it or doing a paste special. They all behave the same way. There is no relationship between these things. So now I'm gonna stop this video segment. I start the second one where we do a, 
copying between uh, part bodies. So within a single part, we may have several bodies, and uh, we're going to do the pasting there. All right. 